G'day here, it's Stephen here, and we've got the IDEM or the ID Genelli Dashboard Enhancement Module plugged into kit. It's up here, um, plugged into the ID Genelli Season 1 and 2 Dashboard Electronics, and nothing says I know what I'm doing more than elaborate mess of wiring. So hopefully you're impressed by that. We're about to go for a ride in kit with this all hooked up. I want to point out one or two things first. Uh, one, the fuel sender in my tank has some issues, so my fuel level readings are not um, the best, they're not always accurate, so the fuel level here will um, be wrong, and the ID module that will play an audio module when we go down to certain thresholds may um, fluctuate as fuel moves around in the tank and the fuel sender unit gets all confused about reality, but that's okay. Um, over here we've got an LCD module that you may recall from the first video that showed an update um, of the odometer and various other engine telemetry in a numerical output and we've got that cycling here today at a rate of about five seconds as it goes through showing uh, the trip, the odometer, the engine temperature, oil pressure etc etc. Uh, we've got sitting up here just the uh, voice box module and right beside it is the ID module um, itself. Uh, I've sh added one or two features, I think I have added them anyway since the last module, uh, video rather, and that is when we hit power, kit does a startup introductory and so I think now is a good time to get going. Um, Kit's engine is cold, first time I've run them today, so we're starting from a, um, a base of zero. There we go, this kit introducing himself, our LCD says engine off because it, it is, so uh, let's crank it up. Now, you just relax. now that audio that you just heard then of kit playing is because we have an RPM threshold of 2300, we're currently showing um, just over that, and I've set that threshold down low so you get an idea of some of the audio samples that uh, Kit will play. So let's buckle up, we'll go for a drive, and uh, I'll play you, um, rather you'll see some of the uh, audio being played as we drive along at different speed thresholds and engine temperatures and oil. So let's go. Very soon we're about to uh, hit motorway speeds and when we get up to I think it's 50 mile an hour I have it set to. Well that's Kit just telling me that the engine is now up to temperature or beyond the temperature threshold. As we get to about 50 I think. Are we speeding? Yes are we speeding? No we're not Kit but that's okay but he did notice the speed increase and we've hit the first speed threshold as we approach motorway speeds. I must admit, this is a good feeling. Yes, this is a good feeling, Kit. I don't know if you can uh, hear, here we go. There's the voice box just activating when we hit 65 mile an hour. 
when it hits that speed threshold which is configurable the voice box changes from normal mode to pursuit mode and it will stay there until we slow down enough um, beyond that threshold where it resets now if traffic allows we might be able to go just a, a tad quicker so that there you heard we slowed down enough um, by five mile an hour and the voice box changed from pursuit mode back to normal mode again it doesn't have to be 65 mile an hour you can change it to uh, whatever you feel is appropriate what we're going to do is change lanes there are other speed thresholds that we've got set higher but I'm, I'm not going to uh, drive at those speeds um, on the open road here today but I think you get um, a good idea on how the system responds when different parameters are set different thresholds um, you heard most of the ones with the speed and actually maybe mostly with the uh, RPM change every time we hit 2300 RPM now we're at highway speeds there's little chance of us really doing that I must admit, this is a good we're doing about 3600 RPM at the moment so um, I think that's about the rules there is to show you right now uh, I hope you enjoyed this live demonstration see you later bye Well, here we are back in kit, but this time I'm sitting on the other side. I'm not in the seat. What's going on? Well, I thought I'd show you how you can configure your ID Genelli dashboard enhancement module. And so I need some space. So here I am sitting on the passenger side with a laptop. And we're going to connect to the IDEMS module, uh, sorry, Wi-Fi access point. And hopefully my laptop will show it up in a jiffy when it scans for new Wi-Fi access points. Any time now. And there we have it, it's popped up. It's called Cat Kit dashboard we can actually change that name later on and I'll show you how hopefully you can see that um, I'll just hover over the flag wireless access point because why would we be connected to anything else so we'll connect to kit dashboard and there we go we are now connected so with your favorite web browser I happen to be using Firefox and I'm on a laptop but you can do this from your phone you just simply go to dashboard.local type that in and here we have it. So this page here is being served up by the um, dashboard enhancement module. And it shows all the settings that you can alter. So if I just make this a little bit bigger, and I should also point out that uh, this works just as well on your laptop or even your phone. It, um, it, the display adapts according to the size of your screen so that you can always use it. So here we have um, our speed settings, our engine RPM. Now you, you might recall um, as we were driving around, um, I've actually altered the settings since, um, since our driving so they don't quite match up with the experience that you saw earlier on in the video, but you will recall the RPM threshold of 2300 that uh, we managed to hit a few times. These settings here, RPM 2 and 3, are turned off, but if I want to have an extra audio um, clip played for other RPM thresholds, I can simply turn them on. 
and then I can um, click on them and change them as I see fit. And it's the same with anything else that has a blue switch here. So I can just um, turn things on and off uh, as I want to. Uh, you'll see here the pursuit enables at 65 mile an hour. And that's what uh, we were hearing when we were driving on the open road. As soon as we hit 65 mile an hour, the voice box switched from normal mode to pursuit. Uh, moving down through the settings, we've got uh, engine temperature thresholds and oil pressure warnings. So when the temperature exceeds the particular maximum that you set, the audio file is triggered. Same thing with the oil pressure except it's in reverse. So when your pressure drops below a certain threshold, Kit will warn you about it, which is really good if you go driving after an oil change and you forgot to put the sump uh, bung back in. That would be bad. So here we have our fuel warnings here set to 50 and 20%. And you would have heard Kit complain about those as my fuel sender, which I described earlier was not in the best of health, um, gave wild um, readings. Uh, over here we've got LCD settings. So when the system is turned on, this text here coming up um, will be displayed. Of course, you can change that to something else more suitable, like uh, system starting or anything that takes your fancy. The background color here is currently set to green. And that looks greenish. So what we'll do, I'm going to demonstrate the fact that all these settings, apart from the wireless settings, when you change them, they are um, taken on board and applied immediately. So we're going to change from green to another color. And I think we'll pick uh, red here. So red is now ticked. I hit select. Now we've got a red box here, but we are still uh, green. But as soon as I come down here and I hit save and apply settings, it's going to change. And there you go, immediately change to red. As I said, all the other settings on here will change immediately as well. Now, um, carrying on, we've got time between messages, which is two seconds. So as messages are displayed on the LCD about your engine telemetry, your trip and odometer, for example, at the moment it's set here to two seconds. It'll show one piece of information, and then after two seconds, It'll change to the next. Uh, finishing up here, we've got Wi-Fi settings. So you can see kit dashboard. That's what we connected to. That was the name of the Wi-Fi access point. And we can change that if we like and also change the password. The auto shutoff setting you see there is once the system is running, after 15 minutes, it will shut off its Wi-Fi automatically. The reason you might want to have that turned on, and again it's got one of those blue switches you can change, is that if your phone is connected to uh, the IDEM via its Wi-Fi and you go for a drive, your phone um, will try to connect to the internet via the IDEM and that's not going to work because it itself is not connected to the internet. So you'll miss out on, you know, uh, notifications for email or anything else like that but having this turned itself off if you forget to disconnect from wireless um, you'll find that this will take care of your problem for you so that you don't miss emails and other notifications because your phone is still connected to the IDM uh, rather than um, the phone network for wireless broadband our final settings here a random tone which is currently turned off if you have this on between six to ten minutes the IDM will tell the voice box module to start randomly playing different tones this gives the effect of making it look like it's doing stuff so if you're at a car show for example and people are looking at your car and all of a sudden kit starts um, setting off a bunch of different random tones it uh, gives the impression kits um, computing something or just simply showing off, um, which is a, a nice touch, I feel. Uh, play audio on start. Again, that can be turned on and off. 
whereby as soon as you turn the key and the system starts, Kit can play a introductory audio clip, I am the voice of the Night Industries 2000, or anything else that um, you see fit. And finally there, we've got a volume setting. So if you decide to hook up to a, um, a mini amplifier or something like that to make it all louder, then you can do that. Or if you want to make it quieter, then you can adjust the volume as, as you want to. So these are all the settings. Um, hope you like those. If you've got any other ideas for future enhancements, uh, let us know and we'll see what we can do. Okay, cheers. Bye.